Try to kill that fly if you can. If yeah. you get an opportunity right. to strike it. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a truly exceptional guest joining us on the show. He's an iconic figure in the world of fashion and the creative genius behind the eponymous brand that has revolution revolutionized <laughs> the shoe industry. He's worth $300 million and he's here in this little shithole podcast studio where we got two children in a bathroom. His shoes have graced the feet of celebrities and fashion lovers alike. Get ready to walk a mile in the shoes of a visionary as we explore the captivating journey of our guest, the one and only Steve Madden. Steve Madden. <laughs> Steve Madden. We can't do that the whole episode. We can't. Just, just before he's here. Steve, Steve. Madden. My name's Steve Madden. Steve yeah, we know who you are. Steve Madden. Steve Madden. Madden. <laughs> we have the weatherman in studio today because he has been fucking bugging me to, to come around more. <laughs> and Steven's late. Thanks, but Jeff. We have a more important Steve on the show today. There's you see that fly, huh? Is that why you just hit that? I think that's fly. The biggest, richest fucking guest we ever had on this show. And we got a fly buzzing around this room. Yeah. Like Walter White. I'll get it. I'll get it. If it lands on Steve Madden, I mean, I don't have to <laughs> fucking <laughs> back him. We the gotta time, whack him in the face. But this place is a fucking shithole. What's your favorite shoe brand? <laughs> Not Steve Madden, but that's women's shoes, yeah, you're you know? Yeah, you're a woman, yeah. But people do call you a woman. Do you feel like if you were a woman, you'd like... You know what's funny about that? Mike actually referred to me as a hot girl this weekend, but not like that. He was... Whoa. Because he brought a, a couple girls with him on the trip to make him look nice as he walks around. Like, you know, you have yeah. nice arm candy. What he does. And <laughs> I was like, why the fuck am I even here? And he goes, you are basically the equivalent of a hot girl. You serve the same purpose. You're just there to make me look cooler. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, bro? You just say that to me for real? I took a I, I feel like you should get... Ugly friends to make himself look hotter, not hot friends. Why would he do Don't that? Don't tell him that because then I'm out of all these free trips you're right, going you're to right, Vegas you're right. for, you know, it was such a sick trip. I wish you guys could have came. Actually, no, I don't really because, you know, cool. I like my time away from you guys. But you're capping. You should man. think about the sentence before you say it again because he man. said, I wish you guys could be there and then said, I, never mind. I wish you weren't. It would have been cool if you just said, I would have to pay a lot fun. more money if I brought all you guys. True. This was a free trip. Mike somehow pulled off tickets to the fight, a private jet out there. I felt weird even posting it all over social media because I don't normally do stuff like that, but it's just what I was doing that day. Didn't you, you know? do that a week ago to Miami? You did that like a week ago, right? A private jet? Yeah. No, I didn't take a private jet. Oh, sorry. I took an economy flight, middle seat. Oh, nice. Connecting too on the way back. Humbling. I don't really need to be humbled anymore at this point in my life. You know, I'm pretty, I'm as humble as it gets. If he comes in here and offers you to buy Jeff's Barbershop, like the brand, how much would you sell it for? That's a good question. Would I still retain equity? P he's a shark. You're on Shark Tank. No, how much would you sell 10% of the company to Steve Madden for? 10%? Yeah. He wants 10%. I'd probably do like a million bucks. Damn. That's not that much, right? Is that what you're thinking? No. Um, that's a million dollars, so okay. I do think that's a lot. Well, if you value the company at $10 million right now, right. which is realistic, you know, because of the amount of money we make per year. That's the evaluation. But he is such a big name, and he would bring more than just money, and that's why I would have to bring him in for such a, a discounted rate. But then what ideas do you think he could bring to the table from the shoe world? How we could get insider trading money going, illegal <laughs> shit on the side, you know? Okay. We could all fucking pop quaaludes when we go into, yeah, commercials cool like commercial. this. Among Us. Dope commercials that go Among viral. Us. <laughs> what? He played an Among Us. <laughs> he played an Among Us soundbite, and I fucking, my hard drive just got wiped. <laughs> I don't even know what you guys are talking about right now. It's okay. The audience will. All right. How's it going to uh, feel to be not the oldest guy in the room for once? Fine, actually. It's not, it's not even real because I bring on way older guests. It's a podcast. It's not your stupid vines that you film. <laughs> Mike so, is usually the oldest in the room, and, and we do have a lot of older guests that come on. I, I don't know. I was just making a joke. I'm Our just, last guest was Nikki right. Glazier. She's older than me. Damn, it's been that long since we had a different guest besides Mike Rattana. Yeah. Oh, the skydiver. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> yeah, everybody should go watch that episode. The naked skydiver. Everybody just go give it a watch. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just get the views up. Watch at least a minute. Mm -hmm. That'll count as a view, right? 
hopefully. I don't know how that stuff works, but go over there, click click some things on it, leave comments on it. Steve's going to watch this episode back and be like, the fuck is that? <laughs> this guy's over here begging for comments <laughs> on a whole their podcast. All right, today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Are you missing the syrup for your pancakes or you just ran out of your favorite coffee creamer? With DoorDash Grocery Delivery, you can get what you want right when you need it. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and you can now get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. I haven't been to the grocery store in years, and look at how I'm doing. I turned out just fine with my trusted DoorDash Grocery Delivery. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered, or we'll make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them yourself. Want even more value? You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a zero delivery fee on eligible orders with the Dash Pass membership. With easy substitutions right in the app and best in-class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $10 value when you use code JEFF at checkout. That's 50% off up to a $10 on a $15 minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code JEFF. Don't forget, that's code JEFF for 50% on your first order with DoorDash. Thank you for sponsoring the show, DoorDash. Now let's get back on with it. Yeah, get those headphones on them. Okay, let's do it. And... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a, a little bit of a fly problem in we here. Have a fly. Yeah. There's a fly buzzing around I in here. I love that. And we've been trying to kill it. So if it gets near you. Chad, would you take a picture? I may have of to me? strike you. A bus? Take a picture. Yeah, it looks so cool. It's great. I there love we go. It. I'm going to frame that one, put it up on the wall, yeah. too. Yeah. Black and yeah, white. Yeah, that's fucking cool. Nice. So you and I have a lot in common. I'm Tell excited me. to have what you do here. We have? We're both East Coast guys from New York. Went to jail. We both did a little time. Sober. Sober. Businessmen. Designers. Oh. Creative geniuses. Oh, I don't know about all that. I know, Not for me. I like it. Take a picture of him. I want to send it to my son. He probably listens to you. My oh, yeah. Boy. Is that right? How old is he? 15. Uh, well, I have a slightly older audience, but yeah. it's possible. It's possible. Where are you living now? Are you still in New York? Yeah, I live on 57th Street. In Manhattan, okay. yeah. I see you got that L.A. hat on. Is that because you're just you trying to blend what? in? I'm just trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be one of the, you know, I'm trying to go with the flow here. Play mm -hmm. both sides. Yeah. Okay, what do so we got? Whenever you're ready to get I'm started. I'm ready. Let's go. Sure we're got, on. You got all your yeah. stuff. Um, My daughter says she loves you. No way. Yes. I love Jeff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way. I love Jeff. How old is your daughter? 15. What are they, twins? Yeah. Oh, wow. Twins. Yeah, this is Ryan here. He's my co-host. He's... Yeah, Ryan. Hello. I want to take a picture for my son. <laughs> Can we do that? Of course. Let's do it. Can you take a picture? So you have we a get book... Jeff and, and, and Ryan. I'm sure is a big... They, all, they love all you guys. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so you have a book coming out. Right. You wrote the book. Wrote the book. That's a lot, huh? That's got to be an emotional roller coaster going through all those memories. It, it was. It was. It was diff. It was a big deal. She took a terrible picture, by the way. We'll do, we'll do more pictures after. We could do it. I'm more. sure. So the book. I'm sending this to my son. Yeah. And try to get that mic a little closer to you. If okay. You can. Yeah. So the book, it is out right now, or will it be out by the time you? No, the book's it? out. The book came out during COVID, and now we have the paperback version right here. Okay. And it's, it, you know, COVID. It was like um, the world stopped, so it was kind of like it didn't happen. Good time to read. And uh, actually, a good time to read. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. You know, the story is still fresh, and uh, you know, it's just uh, so I'm kind of excited about that. Somebody needs to make a movie on that. Yeah. Well, we, we're actually meeting with someone. Scorsese? No, Scorsese, no. Well, how do you feel about how they portrayed you in the movie? You know, it was good. It was good. You know, so the thing about the movie was, you know, I was, when I, first of all, he said he wrote a book. I said, oh, Jesus, I got to go through this again. Mm -hmm. then, then, like, not only does he make a movie, mm -hmm. he makes a movie with the best director in the world. Yeah. Okay? So I'm like, I can't fucking... Be can I say that? Of course. I can't fuck you want. believe. I can't fucking believe. Not only is he making a movie, he's making it with the Michael Jordan of movie makers. Uh -huh. But they were. They came to me and they said, "Look, you know, work with us a little bit. It won't be too bad." You know, I had this vision of like them showing me in prison with the bars clo closing on my face or something. Yeah. You know, and then I would have to explain that to my kids mm -hmm. and all that bit. But they were really, it was really cool, and it was a great movie, 
and it made me look a little nerdy. Well, they treated you like a bit of a pushover, yeah. and they disrespected yes. you, and they kind of like almost took advantage, but yeah, also was, they gave you a ton of money. To yeah, no, it was great. It was great. It's exactly what yeah. I wanted. Yeah, exactly yeah, we what know I wanted. who you are. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Great scene. Yeah. We got a little yeah. sound bites yeah. and stuff that the boys organized. I want to send this text to my son, tell him I'm with you. He... So that commercial that blew you guys up, that everybody knows about, the girls with the with the bug eyes and the big heads. Um, yeah, it was great. It was great. It was, yeah. Oh, boy, you guys did your work here. Of course we did. Wow, you guys are not good. messing around. You know, You're the most like successful a... guest we've had on the show so no, far. That's very nice to hear. So this was your creative. You know, Scorsese used that in The Wolf of Wall yeah. Street. You know, yeah, so he, get a, he had to get approval on that from you. You know, I don't know if he did come to think of it. Let me sue that guy. We'll sue him real quick, yeah. <laughs> He's got a lot of money. So that blew you up, yeah. and that got you on the radar of, you know, Stratton. Stratton. Guys, you know all about, you you know all about high school with? Yeah, Danny, the fellow that Jonah Hill played. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was my, you know, childhood friend. And, you know, it, it was... It was what the film said. It was a crazy ride. So you were close with Danny. Very close with Danny. Very yeah. close with Jordan. Was Danny, Danny a fucking psychopath to doing all the drugs and stuff like he did in the movie? He pulled his dick out in the party that one time? I don't know if he pulled his dick out, but it was a crazy time and people were doing drugs and crazy things happened. Yeah. Yeah. Did you partake? I was already sober, but you know, you know, I think I talked about this somewhere in the book that, you know, there are different kinds of addictions and maybe I was addicted to money or something. Okay, yeah. Addicted you know, one personality. Yeah. You're but addicted to a lot of things. It was, a cr these guys made so much money. Uh -huh. You know, it was 95, so we're talking, we're talking almost 30 years ago. Crazy, yeah. right? 95, you guys were so even what, born. So how old were you when you got sober? I was 32 when I got sober. Nice. Yeah. I'm 33 now. I got sober yeah. at 28. So oh, around nice. the same time. Yeah, that's great. You're going to meetings. No, I didn't do the meetings. Yeah. Um, I went cold turkey. I just realized I needed it if I wanted to that's be cool. successful. Okay. Well, you're and doing great. I also have a product line. Yeah. So I'm in the yeah. biz. Oh, I'm making good. Hair All right. Products. Yeah, that's we have, great. We just launched a deodorant. We have a package there for you or if you oh, want to send it out to somebody. Oh, that's great. I always see you with hats on, so I don't know if yeah. you use Yeah, I always wear hats. Yeah. I always wear hats. I like to cover up. I'm 23. I'll be sober in like five years, probably. That's my well, plan. Well, if you make it. True. Do you think you needed to be sober in order to become successful? No, it doesn't. It, it, no, you absolutely do not. But if you're an addict alcoholic, you know, it's a disease to be. I'm know, in the early days. If you have substance abuse issues, you know, there's, there's only there's three possible outcomes. Can I guess? You can guess. Dead. Dead. Jail. Yes. Or homeless? Mental institution. Okay. Yeah. Those are the three outcomes. You personally, though, do Me, you think that you needed to get sober in order to find the success that you had? If I didn't get sober, I wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. I'd be in the ground. So, yeah. 100%. Not even questioned about it. Oh, yeah. I was very lucky. I don't know why I was spared. Uh, there's a lot of very smart people that can't get sober and... Uh, you know, again, I don't have a problem with booze and drugs if you don't have a, if you can just have a drink and, mm -hmm. you know, or smoke a little yeah, pot or I envy, whatever. I you know, envy that when yeah, I see me too. my me too. I do or whatever. Too. There are plenty of people that, you know, just enjoy it and don't get crazy. Me, it's all night and mm -hmm. like you probably. Well, yeah, back then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm addicted to other stuff. I put, yeah, my, good. I put all that focus into positive, productive things. You snort money now. Yeah, I run a lot. I do a lot of that shit and money and business. Yeah, yeah stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stay busy. I gotta, gotta keep my brain busy. Yeah, all the time. Well, you're doing great. Thank you. Um, now, I had a question for you about shoes. Obviously, women's shoes. Why, why that? Why was that your thing? I went to work in a shoe store when I was in high school. It was just luck. Uh -huh. Popped into a store, got a job. I was 17, and that was it. Were you passionate about? Shoes designing. I was passionate the moment I went to work in that store. Okay, it never changed. You know, I had a I had a great mentor, which is so important for young kids. You know, to have somebody that you could look up to, that you could see, you know, a path for yourself. And I did, and and his name was Lance, and I still speak to him. Yeah, you know, so that was it. I was hooked, man. I was like, yeah, let's. That was it, and it just was one job after another. In the shoe around in the, the fashion world? Yeah, in the shoe business. Yeah. Did you okay. happen to get a job at a shoe store or did you want to go and get a job at a shoe store? No, it was just... Just happened? Just happened. Wow. You know, I don't have any, sh you know, no, 
other than they, everybody in my family wore shoes. <laughs> yeah. No, I relate to that a lot because, you know, it's similar to my story. Like I was saying earlier, I was a barber from 14, 15 years old. I stumbled into a barber shop. My friends would hang out there. Yeah. I was giving myself haircuts, and then one of the barbers there so that's like my Lance, you know, mm -hmm. I had this guy, yeah. Mike, yeah. I never give him credit in interviews. I always say I learned on my own. Yeah. But that guy, Mike, he was, the, he actually got me started cutting hair. And then that was my connection to everything else I've ever that's done cool. in my life. Shout out to Lance Rubin. He shout was out to Lance, now. shout out to Mike. You know, shout out to people. Mike, shout out to Lance Rubin. They put us on the right yeah, path. They did. They you did. I, I'm so, I'm so lucky. I've been lucky like that. One thing leads to another. That's it. You meet some people. You, you became real business savvy early on. When you, people say business savvy, I was just, you know, I'm just a hustler. I'm just, I, you know, yeah. I love to make shoes and I had a little knack for making shoes that girls like. So you figured it out. And I hustled. you you got stores in every mall in America. All, all over the world. All over the world. Yeah, all over the world. It's insane. You gotta be yeah. proud of that. I'm proud that I'm doing this show. Now, when you meet people, because this was my thing back in the barber shop. This is when I was going back to get haircuts. I would judge people or judge the barber's skills off how they dress themselves, how their, their sneaker game was, because that's a big important thing in New York. You know, sneakers Sneaker and game. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. how I would judge. Is this guy a good barber? No, yeah. I want to go to the guy wearing the Jordans, yeah, yeah. Or the Nikes or something. Mm -hmm. You do that when you meet people now. Like, see, you went on Impulsive before. Yeah. Those guys all have terrible sneaker games. They you know, I, I'm not a big sneaker guy. Yeah, it's not a big thing for me. You know, and I, I only, you know, so I don't judge them. But they were actually entertaining guys, and uh, I surprisingly enjoyed it. You didn't even look at their feet. I didn't look at their feet. Yeah, yeah, they were they were funny guys and with women now though. Do you do that with women when you walk in a room? Or you does like, it stop at shoes? I do look at shoes. I when I meet a girl, man, I meet a woman. First thing I look at is the shoes. My eyes go down. It's terrible. What if I do that. No with, I do that with hair. I'll you do that. that I hair. see hair extensions hanging out, and I'm like, Ugh, you know, yeah. I'm judging them right yeah. off the bat. Yeah, it's I a do problem that. we I have. Do, I us, do that. Yeah. us designers. You want to yeah. design. You want to yeah. fix everything that's that's yeah. wrong all the time. Yeah, I look at shoes. It's terrible when your head if, goes down. If there's no shoes, though, do you look? You like look? You know what? I, I, what are you asking? <laughs> like feet? Does it stop at shoes, or well, is there? You know, feet? Not, it's not so much feet. You know, there it is, feet. Feet, no, no? Feet shoes. You're not a yeah. feet fa fan of feet. Not a fit foot fan. It's a big not business a, too, right? Uh, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. A lot of women are selling their feet, feet. pictures online. Yeah. yeah. Are they really? Or oh, something. <laughs> it's you know, I don't know what is. I hear about that. It's a naked thing uh, they do. You sell you, new. Some anybody can, be feet. can Any? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I didn't. I never checked that out. Bonus content, extra content. You know. Yeah. We uh, we don't do it personally, but a no, lot of people. Okay. No, I don't know. I know. I heard about it. Um, only swim fans or whatever it's called. It's like the. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, no, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was just at a, a boxing match, a uh, big fight in Vegas, and you know how the floor seats, it's yeah. all like the big shots, a lot mm -hmm. of money, you know? And it was all either drug dealers that buy those tickets or only girls. That's like is the that new. Right, that's so interesting. Or Logan Paul's friends. Or Logan Paul's so, friends. Who is the fight with? Who's in the fight? Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. Yeah. It's the two biggest prospects in the lightweight division. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I heard about it's it. It's like a super fight of our generation Have now. you seen Jake fight? Jake Paul? Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. What the last thought? fight was a draw? Was it? No, he lost. He did lose. Yeah, he lost. Good. Fought a pro boxer from a uh, huge boxing family, a legendary boxing family. Are you friends with Jake? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting what he's done. I mean, we're, that could have gone either way. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I, are I, you friends with Jake? Because then we were about to go in on him. I don't know. Jake no, and no, I are, are civil. We've had our problems. You know, I don't know. My kids, they, you know, they love Jake Paul and they love uh, Logan. Yeah. So they love all that. It's so new to someone my age, the whole concept of Jake Paul. Yeah. I met Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, he came to my office. We talked about doing something. Mostly, I, I had him come up because my daughter wanted to meet him so bad, you know? Yeah. I think he's reinvented the boxing game. Yeah, absolutely. I actually think he has. It's, it's a crazy thing. And a lot of boxing snobs don't dig it. They're not happy it. No, they don't it. dig it. I think what it is is, you know, people really like the storyline, uh, especially with, like, early boxing matches or, like, UFC they do the interviews before the fight, so yeah. you get to know a little bit about the mm -hmm. personalities. Yeah. So you're more invested where it's just two guys beating on each other's heads. You want to see who's going to yeah. win because who you like more, their personality or whatever. And now you have these influencers that have an audience. They could sell. You know, They're yeah. going to get people to watch it. Yeah. So that's all you need. The skill is secondary to that. The priority yeah. is the personality. I think it's amazing. The boxing game is so... 
you know, it's just so weak right now. And, you know, it's been weak for a while. And, and I think that the most excitement is coming from Jake Paul. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you had to get into it, you know, who would you go after? Like an Aldo or something? Like the if liquid. I could box, yeah, yeah, I'd knock Aldo on his ass. Aldo, is that yeah. a, is that a guy? Yeah, it's a guy. He's actually a guy from Canada. He's a nice guy. And I would punch him out. But that's who you. Who or the guy, or maybe the guy from Sketchers. Sketchers, yeah. Michael Greenberg. I yeah. get in a ring with him. What are your thoughts on Sketchers? It's a shit brand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or the Dossler brothers? Who are the? Oh, those motherfuckers. Rudolph Whoa. Dossler. Yeah, Dossler. those shoes are so hot. They made Adidas, Stan and Puma. Smiths, and all that. But I met Stan Smith actually. Really? Yeah, he's a tennis champion. Did you know that? I thought the Stan Smith shoes were the singer. No, no, that's, that's the Sam, Sam Smith, Smith shoes. Sam Jeff? Smith. Sam Smith. You silly Sam. goober. You are, okay, you must. You're messing with you're you. You're taking a piss right now. That's Sometimes they, I am, but there I wasn't. Do you have someone though that you would actually fight in the shoe game if you had to pick someone to do a boxing event with? Or yeah. The, or the feet game? Yeah. I'd really? like to like call, to call fight. Call him out right now. Yeah, Kenneth Cole. I'd like to fight Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole. What? And I'm the baddest motherfucker in the shoe business. <laughs> yeah, oh, I like that. Yeah, Hell yeah. It. That should so, be on your Wikipedia. Yeah, it is. Say it on the shoes. Yeah. How involved are you now in all this stuff? Or are you just out doing interviews and writing books? Because I want to get to that level where I don't have to do shit anymore. Just yeah. Go fucking do pot. I guess that's what I do already. But yeah. So it's different today. I'm still very involved. It's different. You know, I don't do the same things I did when I was doing, you know, a million dollars a year. Now I do over two. Two billion a year. It's a different game now. Well, now you're in the money making. The game business. has changed. But you know, intelligence is the ability to adapt. Adapt as in like the just, times are changing, just, so now everything just adapt. You know, things are different. It's not the same thing and you know, you gotta figure it out if you're a true hustler. Especially fashion. Yeah. Things change so quick. But your thing you made the Mary Jane, which is the classic show. Yeah, shoot. that was in the movie. And that hit, that was what you probably owe a lot of success of the brand to, right? To that shoe? Yeah, many shoes. Did you see a resurgence in the brand yet again when the movie came out? Yeah, particularly among men. It oh, was, wow. Yeah, because we're always known as a women's brand. We make great men's shoes. I'm wearing, can you get these? I'm wearing yeah. these. These are great Steve Madden shoes. Can you see? Are you going to no, nice. no sock there? Is yeah, that... I got went to no sock. And you know what? It's a mistake. I, it, I don't think so. Is carving no, up the back of your heel I'm just, there? Is I'm it? just fucking lazy. I, I Let them shine. You know what I'm saying? And the no sock thing is uh, just lazy. But it's better wearing socks. Yeah, I apologize for my co-host here no, today. Okay. He's got a foot <laughs> fetish. No, it's okay. And it's a known thing no, online no, it's that okay. he's a it's foot okay. pervert. No, it's, it's not. Okay. You know, it's all right. Just but I want to let I'm you know cool why he's it. over there asking those all these questions that are feet related. <laughs> no, it's okay. He's also a shoe designer. So yeah. No, but that's you're talking more about feet. I'm not. I'm not talking about feet. What goes in the shoes? So what no else? socks. No. You just don't. You just, yeah. You didn't yeah. You're shoe. wearing socks. And yeah. She does. I, I've got yeah. gross feet. Yeah. I have okay. to wear yeah. socks, yeah. too. Yeah. But I used to go no socks. You used to rock the no socks. Though. Yeah, just because it looks cooler. You know, I, I feel like these socks. I don't like think dad socks. Just I'm just lazy. Yeah. It's like one less article of clothing, you know, to put on to get out the door and go off. You yeah. Know? Underwear so, next. Yeah, so are you commander right Can't now? do underwear. You got to have underwear. Okay. Got to have it. You don't want things chafing and stuff like that. No, you don't want to be. You don't yeah. want to. You need, you know, protection. But it's it's funny you say lazy when it comes to the article of clothing, but then you're known as a hat guy. I wear so hats, but a hat is easy. But socks, you got It's two of them. That's true. You know, if it was just one, I would wear one sock. Yeah. I mean, if you had to put on two hats a day... That would be a drag. <laughs> Two hats. Yes. It would be a lot of work. And we like to keep it simple. Fellas, have you ever wished you were a little bit taller? Maybe you matched on Tinder, but her profile says must be over six feet. Maybe your date wants to wear heels, but she can't because it will make her look taller than you. Well, I got the short kings covered with today's sponsor, Kunzori. Kunzori makes shoes that make you up to 2.8 inches taller without anyone knowing. Look, girls get heels, makeup, push-up bras. Why can't men get a boost in confidence too? We're all the same height laying down, if you know what I mean. For a limited time, our listeners can get an extra 15% off of your order when you use code Jeff at Kanzuri.com. This site is already 30% off, and with our code, you get an extra 15%. That's 45% off your entire order. Support our show and check them out at Kanzuri.com and use code Jeff. Not only do Kanzuri shoes make you up to 2.8 inches taller, but they're also incredibly stylish and comfortable. These are not old man Velcro shoes. You'd get compliments on your Kanzuris even if they didn't make you taller. They have styles for every occasion too. Smart, casual, sporty, you name it. 
They got them all. The height insoles are actually built into the shoe so no one can tell you you're actually getting a little secret height boost. And the brand is also hidden on the shoes and on the packaging. It's really the ultimate height hack. Life's short, but you don't have to be. It's time to level up by playing the field, boys. Maybe update the dating profile to six feet. Kanzuri is an absolute game changer when it comes to your dating life. I'm six foot one. I'm tall enough, but you always want to be taller, especially when I'm hanging around some of my, my friends that are a little bit taller than me and we go on camera together and it can make me look slightly shorter nobody wants to look shorter especially when you're hanging around guys like mike that are just freakishly tall you know so i'll even be rocking these kanzuris and no shame you know it's my my own secret little height hack and you can get it too right now 30 percent off on the site and you get an extra 15 percent off at kanzuri.com with the code jeff that's a total of 45 percent off your order use code jeff at kanzuri.com that's c-o-n-z-u-r-i Dot com with code Jeff. When I want to get high, I put on a pair of Kanzuris. I got a Steve in here. He's uh, he does a, a segment. He's sort of a correspondent for yeah. us out on the street. We're gonna call him in. He Pretty much our smartest guy. Some questions for you. Let's go. Bring him in. Come on. Let's you do it. You want to speak to Steve? You want to yeah, speak to my Steve? Yeah. Let's do it. Let me see if Steve I get my door. Steve Madden. Steven Huberschmidt. 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 He's from Maryland. Where is Huberschmidt? Is he on the thing? He's uh, he'll he's be calling call in. Right oh, now. he's gonna call in. Okay, good. While we wait for him. What are your thoughts on all this AI stuff going on? Everything's AI generated. Do you see people online talking in a video, it's Donald Trump saying something that we're going to war and then all of a sudden it's AI. Yeah. It wasn't even real. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we don't even need to do this podcast. I could have probably AI'd we'll just you in. Plug it in and make it up. Yeah. You know, now Jeff and shoe Steve, design. What is talking about feet. Jeff and Steve are talking about feet. Bing. I mean, if you're asking me if I am I worried about people being obsolete? Are you worried about AI taking your job? I am not worried about AI. There'll always be in the human touch. Well, let's take a look at this shoe right here. What are your thoughts? I think it's really ugly. It's ugly. <laughs> yeah. Now let's I think check it's really check out, ugly. Check out another one. Is that AI? Well, you tell me. What do you think of it first? That's a nice shoe. Come on. I don't like it. It looks like like teeth on them. I don't you said know. you got to evolve. You got to adapt. I, you know, you can evolve all you want. Ugly is ugly. Okay, one more. <laughs> let's see one more. Well, yeah, that's the ugliest thing I've it's ever seen in my life. It's interesting. It's interesting. Should we do one more? One more. Wow, that is, that's, it's, it's vile. It looks like eggs. It now, is eggs. How would you feel if I told you that these were not designed by a human? That's a cute little shoe, actually. All right, we got you. There <laughs> yeah, you go. I did have a guy in California try to pitch me on, uh, you know, AI. Oh, let's see, a Steve Madden sneaker combined with uh, Adidas and, you know, mm -hmm. it's just fucking ugly. Yeah, you can. Can you thing. tell that there's no human touch on that? Well, on that for sure, I could tell. You could tell there was no. Yeah, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. So no, I they're, guess they're terrible. I guess AI they're actually is hurting not, my hurting my threat. eyes. It's not a threat. Then, well, because you can decipher. That's the problem. The biggest issue Elon Musk is saying right now is that AI will be too intelligent for us to even notice that it's not a human. It's possible. I wouldn't argue with him. But you can decipher that that's a. That's when it comes to no shoes, human. I know a little bit more than Elon. <laughs> but you but know, I, like that. I understand what he's saying. This is our correspondent. All right, so Steve Budomsky's. Is that Steve? Steve. Steven. Steven. We got Steve. Steve Budushki's. Not in here. What's up, buddy? Yeah, but I'm not great outside the apartment. Should I just come up? No. You shouldn't. <laughs> we got Steve Madden yeah. here. He's worth about a half a billion dollars. And his name's also Steve. Steve. But he goes yeah. he goes by Steve. Yeah. You have the N on the end. And we want to discuss Stephen, what? yeah, Stephen Budenschmacher. And worth about a, a <laughs> half, a hundred dollars. He's worth at least $500. Yeah. Uh, right. We just went to Coachella last yeah. weekend. And we had some ex expensive uh, burgers and stuff out All there. All right, food. cool. Maybe a quarter of a thousand now. Yeah. What's going on, Steve? Yeah, I was going to like have a discussion about the last podcast and stuff that was said, but I feel like it's not an appropriate time. Oh, this is a good time now, actually. So you no, are, no, you're, no. look at, let's shh. Show your mouth, Stephen. Let me let me talk to Steve. So, Steve, you're a successful businessman. Yes, sir. You've had a lot of life experience, a lot of life history. Yeah. I'm sure you rolled with a lot of group of guys that effed you over, and you're a little cautious now of who you're surrounding yourself with, who you're doing business with, who's on your team, right? Did you say that? Well, yeah. you, you get you're a little smarter about who you have around yeah, you. Yeah, you get a little bit more selective. Now, say you were on a road trip with your friends. Yeah. And your car breaks down. Yeah. And you got this one friend. That's like, oh, fuck you. Shit, hit the fan, I'm out. I'm going to Uber out of here. Yeah. What would you do with that guy moving forward in the He's future? He's done. He's out. You would never speak to him again? You, you always want to be with people you would be in a foxhole with. Okay, so now now hear me out, uh, Mr. Steve. Yes, sir. In. Now You're hear done. me out, right? You're done. Now imagine, there's such, now imagine there was reasonings for why you did that. Are there three uh, large reasonings? And, and, and it might not be 
you know, still make it okay, but there's That shit's got nothing to do with me. It. You fucked me all, bro. I'm the guy yeah, that puts... Finish, oh, I finish. paid for the whole trip. I paid I'm, for your I'm tickets. Talking, I'm talking right now. And I get... Uh, it was squabble. So family squabble. Why I leave, right? And then they go out on a podcast without you there and completely exaggerate This is, the this is what you signed up for. You we signed up shit. to have your life public. This is Pretty all much public. They took the story that happened and and exaggerated it and made stuff up that did not happen. Uh -huh. and then well, you know what? Go back to working on well, the fucking right. vending machines. Go back to stocking fucking vending machines for all I give a fuck. Right, Steve? He used to stock vending yeah, machines yeah, with his yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, that's not an option. Okay. Yeah. That's a good that. job. It was a yeah. feeling in my business. Spit yeah. in my face. We had a nice Coachella trip. Yes. And then he wants to he wants to bail as soon as shit hits the fan. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. You know, should we let him go? He's out. You're right. You're done. You heard it. You're done. Steven, we replaced you with Steve. Yeah. We got, we <laughs> and got he has Steve. more money. Way more money, way smarter. So, um, Steve Budenschmacher. <laughs> yes. yes. You're done, son. You're He's out. Right. You're out. All right. you He's it. all right. Leave the poor guy alone. So you, that's, see, that's what happens. That's how I he got I said me. leave him yeah. alone. I'm following this alone. conversation up on the next podcast. It's not He's over. He's a good guy. Leave him alone. Okay. Hey, leave Steven, I didn't say anything on the last podcast. Remember that. I didn't say anything not, about it. Much, but you didn't. We'll let the audience decide. I didn't. If they want you I'm, back, I'm just saying there was no there was no group chat between me, Kyle, and Ryan asking them to go with me, and there was also no uh, invoice that I sent to Ivan about the the okay, money. We'll discuss this on. later. This is you know we're doing the biggest interview of my life right now, and you know I, I gotta, he's a selfish little prick. I'm huh? sorry to bring all that into That's it. Right. Okay, you want to bring your publicist in? We can yeah, wrap this bring up? bring him in. You yeah, bring him in. They're so great. I feel like there's stuff that you got to promote or something. No, we're just gonna promote the book, and this is so much fun. I gotta see your cool guy. Actually, yes, you're very cool. My you kids, too. I like your whole nonchalant. Like I'm gonna text and stuff. On, My on kids the, on the love pod. you. They think I'm cool now because I'm on. Yeah. So that's good. And that's all that matters nowadays when you yeah. have kids, right? That's really all that matters. Your kids' opinion on you. Yeah. So yeah. that's like I, that's like my kids right there. The guy you just spoke to on the yeah, phone. Yeah, I saw that. Do you, I, I think I you're trying cool, to treat so. him like a son. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's like my son, like the the worst one. Your son. I'm your favorite. Your son. That's right. For now. I, I think you're yeah. cool. No, I wouldn't even say that. It's Kyle's cool. your favorite. Does she want to come in or no? Yeah, tell her to come in. Jeff, where are you from? But I grew up Staten Island. I moved out <laughs> when I was around 18. I moved to Miami. Okay. Spent a couple of years down there. Got arrested down there. What'd you get arrested for? I had a poker game. You know, uh, I was running a game out of my apartment, and I had some drugs in there. They busted in, and they charged me with the drugs. They couldn't really put a gambling charge on it. Cause, right. But, yeah, they was I was released. How was the game? Was it a big eventually, game? Eventually, because I'm here now. Uh, it was God. a cool game. I knew people from Cutting Hair. I met a lot of people, celebrities, athletes. Yeah, great. And I knew them from Cutting Hair, but I wasn't making enough money from Cutting Hair, right. so I needed to do more. Mm -hmm. And so who'd I, you get? Like anybody famous in the game? A lot of guys from the Miami Heat. Not anymore because oh, this wow. was like Whoa. back, you know, ten years ago. I cut so many people because yeah. everybody goes to Miami. Yeah. So you know, just having that. Oh, you want to come play in this game? And we would take a, a rake from it. You understand? Sure. How, I, how the, I used the, to play in the games poker were. Game, sure. Yeah. So I got busted used for that. To take the rake. The five percent. What a great business that is. Yeah. We should go into that business. I would love to. I always wanted to be in that business. There we go. That's something we the could do rake together. Is so great. Yeah. So we had a couple uh, waitresses work in the game. I am the worst poker player in the world. <laughs> no, I really am the worst. And I played with some TV people and movie stars, and I was invited to a game, and I was the worst player. I, I have no patience. Mm -hmm. You just want to go all in. Yeah, I just want to play. Same. Know? But I would be with guys with sunglasses. Fucking yeah. unbelievable. Oh, they're the professional yeah, they're poker good. player. Yeah. It's gambling. You know, they say if you're in a poker game and you don't know who the sucker is, it's you. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm. So you lost a lot of money playing? Uh, I didn't care. A little money. Yeah. It was yeah. just fun. Yeah. And there's all these famous sort of people. and It's fun and it's yeah. the atmosphere. Oh, that you know, you, you're playing you... cards and the guy from Friends walks in. Uh-huh. Or... You know, whatever his fucking name is, I don't remember. But, yeah, you know... Um, Chandler Bing? One of the Which guys. Which one? Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. You Ross. know, like that, you know... What, yeah, yeah the that's the guy. Ross? He was in the game. It was Ross. Is it Ross? Ross? It was, right? Yeah. Yes. I think it was him. I, like, I love cutting hair as my passion, but I always wanted more money, you know? It's kind of like you. Cutting hair is great. No, I mean, you, you had a passion, you had a business going, but then you wanted more money. More, 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 more. Well, we want you know? We want to do more that, things. That, that yeah. addictive personality. Is that you on the coffee mug? That's my Miami mug shot. That's yeah. great. Was that your mug shot? That's now I good. make mugs out of the mug shot. Profit off I of love it. it. I love it. Turn the negatives yes. into positive. I think that's Do you still brilliant. cut hair? 
Yeah, I do another show where I cut people's hair, uh, and we interview them during that. But that's, that's awesome. We mess that's with great. the guests a lot, great and I stuff. figured Steve would be better for this because he could really talk yeah. in depth about things and yeah, you yeah. know pr- promote the book. That's, that's the main cool. focus right now is book sales, getting this book made into a movie. We definitely um, need to get it into a movie or a series. Yeah, yes. we want to try. To do it. What if we made it into happen. like a YouTube series? I think we should do a movie. What if we start as a YouTube series? <laughs> could be a movie, and you yeah. could play me. Docu you, series. You could play me. Really? Yes. Do you want to act? I could be Let's a young Steve. You could be yeah. sure. You could be Steve. Do you yeah. have like a yeah. cool friend that I like it. I'm a cool <laughs> I can play. But all right, Who so we I'm... gotta go. Yeah, we it was great go. having we gotta you. Catch a plane back to New York. Wow. wow. I love being on this show. It's on time, Stephen. All I was <laughs> yeah, on time. Bro. Bro, <laughs> and you woke up in Utah. This, this morning, <laughs> yeah, we oh. needed you for this I interview, woke up in bro. Utah. I had some plan. I was doing something. Yo, a lot of people are pissed at you, bro. Yeah, I wonder why. Because you're completely... Min- I look so ugly. I don't want to sit over here. <laughs> you, do fucking, you don't have a choice. This is what you signed up for, son. No, I'm going to tell everyone the truth. And all those losers that went to my recent YouTube video and commented hate comments. One, thank you for the impressions. <laughs> the yeah, engagement. you called engagement. me up and said, yo, and this two, is dope. They're about to look so dumb. <laughs> my video's yeah, did. getting more traffic because you fucking slammed me That's on the That's not true, vodka. though. It actually went recommended. That The number one source of the views was from recommended. Talk to shit, Because of the hate we sent to you. And they might have pushed it, yeah. Do yeah. what Jake Paul did. Ride that hate. Yeah, yeah monetize that hate. So, Steve Madden like, fucking dude, did it. I made like $80 it. off of it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. I can't Who's believe a half, a, a half a billionaire was right there texting the whole time, and now you're here fucking running your mouth about some shit nobody cares about. Bragging about, about $80? <laughs> the, guy, $80. The, last guy in the last guy in here <laughs> shit $80. We needed you to be here for this episode, because we bombed, Ryan and I. We fucking, every question we asked was shit. He's heard them all a million times. What do you think about Wolf of Wall Street? I thought this was a guy from the NFL, so maybe it was the guy <laughs> That's what I thought, too, when I first got the email. I was like, damn. Well, you know what? And this is the rest of the episode he's going to be watching, so let's well, be no, nice. No, no disrespect to him. It's just like I didn't know. You think he's going to watch the rest of it? I think he's going to be on his phone as soon as he's off the fucking screen. As soon as he's off the screen, he's going to be like, did you see me? He's going to text his kids back. Did you see me on there? Wait, was he like not responding to me? No, he you was responding. It was, like, it, was like, it was like we did an episode of Cody. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But he's a cool guy. No, he was nice. And he's filthy fucking Is rich he a cool and guy successful. He's filthy rich. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, that's how life works. <laughs> that's how life works. You know, you make money, that's, you put your name that's on why shit. You're not a cool guy. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Billion dollars in the bank. Can I explain this story now? What happened? I really want to defend myself here because I have no way of defending myself. You already did. You explained no, it. I, I, people want to hear enough. what I did last weekend. I went to a big fight. You know, a lot of Can stuff I just that happened. Get it out Vegas, of the way. Can private I get jet. Two minutes. Yeah, it's the most. I I just that's all I need. Okay, to defend myself. Yeah, there's absolutely no. I want to clear up. I want to before you start. I want to clear up one thing. The invoice was sent to Ibn a couple days prior for other work that you did. That did not have the Uber in it, right? And it was just timing. They were with me when I got yes, it. But it didn't have the Uber receipt in it, did it? There it was, was just Uber. money. It was just, just how much. Work. It was just how much right, that I owed from you. Work. Where'd you get the Uber? In like what? That's such a specific It just got sent to, to me. At the moment, you call, you just hopped in the Uber, and then I get a bill. It was just like a, a chunk of money, and I was like, oh, this fucking guy wants to dip out on us, leave us hanging, and use our funds from this company to fucking spit in my face. Even though it was 100 bucks. Facts. It still hurt. It hurt. It it's hurt. 130? 130 for that Uber? Yeah. And it, came out of my, and it came out of my pocket. I'm not that big of a scum. So all these people, one, think... I created a group chat with you and Kyle and said, yo, let's, do you want to dip out of here with me? They There's told me no that you text. texted him that. There's no text. No. You can't find that. There's no text. text I never, I never uh, no. sent anybody no, text. No, he just, he just like, the backseat was, was like, yo, I'm getting an Uber. Yeah. yeah. You heard it. You so were there. It's, it's There's insane. No so I don't know where Tana, Tana was saying that. That was the biggest, that's the most fucked up part of the story. That would piss me off so bad. Because he asked. Because he made it, he tried to secretly text him behind his, when did no, I he do? said it to our face. Well, well, you, did yeah, you didn't make a group chat. You made a real life group chat. You just spoke. <laughs> it was a kind offer. I was just trying to be kind in this issue because I did feel like a dick Kind to everyone but me. But listen. But also, I'm going to, and hear me out, I'm not going to lie. Even if the car didn't break down, when we went to go to that stop wherever we were going to go get food or get gas or whatever, I was probably going to dip anyways because I was having the worst anxiety in that car. Like, I was just not having a good time. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to hate on mental health. I understand. We met up. We di- we we talked. It is a fucked up thing, though. I shouldn't have Ubered. And I see where I, where and I, why everyone it's was It's a mad. fucked up thing, but at the end of the day, it's like I, I told Kyle, I was like, it's like basically a Snapchat argument. 
It was gone in 24 hours, disappeared, forgot about it, I'm over it. You well, know? I just had to deal with like these hate comments constantly for like... But now it's a week money. later, you explain why, we're over it, you're not getting more hate. Everybody's here, we're a happy family, yeah, life goes just on. Yeah, here, we need to like... I won't ditch you guys when a car breaks down next time, as long as you what? guys don't... Say stuff about me that did not happen. Bro, we happen. tell the truth here on this show. That's why that people like it. Hey, sorry, real quick. My daughter's on FaceTime. Enough. Time enough. She wants enough. To I don't give a, a fuck. Fan. My daughter, that was my daughter. Who was it? My daughter. Did you, you actually know. have. Yeah. Imagine I did that before. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, though. I, I wouldn't have wanted that interview to go any other way, you know? Yeah. No, it was great. It was sick. Your part, when you called in and we just argued about. <laughs> about he this thing no, he, did not he was care. basically just like all right i'm done i'm out <laughs> let's yeah. get out of here my question bombed so hard and i thought it was <laughs> an interesting Jeffy question the no, pick one? no the twin one i was like you design shoes that come in pairs your whole life and then you have twins that's like a pretty cool metaphor right or am i a fucking idiot that was whack bro yeah, why is that, that whack? whack that's question. weird that's Wait, cool too wordy twins. yeah the shoes come in pairs and then he had twins the one that didn't land for me was the one where you're like uh your brand yeah, you can't put two hats on a day, huh? And I was like, oh my god. You're just more of a, a segment guy. You're more of a weatherman, and that's that's probably what we need to get back to. This is the attitude I want All on right. the podcast, you know? Somebody, don't Whoa, clap, shit. clap the that? mic. I just broke the mic. Oh, that was Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> that no, broke stay it. there, Ryan. What are we doing, man? Give me the give me like some depressing. You gotta music make up or your something. Mind, uh, do you want to take callers? No, I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? You know. This guy comes in here, says, oh, yeah, 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 this is great. Yeah, you're great. I'm so excited to be on the show. No, you're not, bro. You didn't just have fun why here. Why did he do it? <laughs> why did he do it? The book. Come you on. Know? Like, I say I want to have oh, guests. Oh, a book he's trying to sell. Oh, you know, this. I say I'm busy all the time. I'm working all the time. What am I doing? I come in here. I do a couple podcasts a week. I sit here. I talk to my friends. I talk to Mike and Tana. You guys give me shit. You say you want more guests on the show. You want bigger names. You know, let's get some clout around here. But look at what fucking happens. You know? Look at what fucking happens. Is this happens. his book selling? I could help him out big time. Enough of this. This yeah. other book. This other is, book no, too much going on. We need to rebrand this. I could help him. We're going to make this book into a YouTube series. Did you see over the weekend Nate Diaz choked out our dear friend Brodney that looks like Logan Paul? Wait, are you serious? Yeah. You didn't see this, Kyle? No, I saw Nate Diaz like get in a scrap with somebody. Yeah, that was Rodney. That was Rodney. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? He's yeah. trying to fight Chase tomorrow. Wait, pull the video. Huh? What? He's trying to fight this I'm guy in a crowd. That's like a bot. Oh, oh right. yeah, oh. He, and he also tried to fight the guy that has that viral boxing clip where he's like punching nothing he and he like spun around well they gave him another shot that guy they gave him another chance to fight chase demore the guy i'm talking yeah, about he's on a netflix show he was... yeah he so he, he drops the guy and then he starts ground and pounding him in a boxing match yeah. and then he does the adesanya oh <laughs> shit it was so cringe and then they fucking wait they, who did this they chase disqualified him chase demore pull up the video okay so two situations this night steven brought up another one this is rodney first of all Look, Rodney, he's so... Oh, he thinks it's Logan Paul, though? I think Nate thought that this was actually Logan. Look, he grabs him. Oh, shit. He's kneeing him to the body. And he chokes him to sleep, and his head rocks the concrete. Oh, oh my God. Does Nate hate Logan Paul? Yeah, well, he's boxing Jake, and they have beef. Yeah, they've... Had a lot of problems publicly. Damn. And then he fucked up he choked, his lookalike? He choked out the lookalike, yeah. He's probably like, yeah, I fucked up Logan. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just committed assault. Look, look, the second fake Logan walks up, he puts his hands up. He's in his guard. And then he chokes him to sleep and bangs his head. He ended up getting eight staples in the back oh, of his head. God. So quick. And if a fighter beats the shit, love, look at Connor. He liked it. Lovely little knee to the body. But that's not him. <laughs> it's not Logan and it's... I mean, Rodney said that he has a jiu-jitsu background, right? I don't know. What no, if Rodney was just trying to come up being like, hey, can we do a little video to try and... <laughs> 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 no, I that's think, what happened. No, I think I, that's I, what happened. Oh it, looks, it, looks that's like, sad. it looks like he was trying to like de-escalate the situation. Like, telling him, like, yo, like, calm down, calm He's down. He's such a nice guy. I can't see him coming over and being aggressive. You know, I think Nate just misunderstood. I think he was like, oh, shit, Logan's here? <laughs> yeah, I, I texted him, like, as soon as it happened, because it happened... I, it got posted, like, at 1 a.m., and then... Uh, he messaged me back in the morning saying, yeah, I'm doing okay, bro. Eight staples in the back of the dome. My ribs are killing me. I was like knees fucking hurting hard, but turned out 
as he wrapped me up in the guillotine, two of his homies came and cracked me in the ribs. Hit that subscribe button. Damn. The beef's that real that, like, you're fucking up guys who look like the guy? Well, Nate Diaz is, like, stocked in his fuck, so, like, he doesn't fuck around at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's Dude. scary. If a fucking David lookalike comes up to me. That's true. And he's swinging a crane <laughs> at me, I'm fucking him up, you know? That guy wasn't... He wasn't doing... I don't think he was doing that. That's why I want to talk to him and get to the bottom yeah. of it, but... Uh, he's probably got a lawsuit and stuff that he probably can't even yeah. talk about it now. And what was the other guy that got fucked up by Nate? Oh, so Chase Demore. He didn't can get you... fucked up. He just got a water bottle thrown at him. Can you look up? Oh yeah, okay. So I saw that. <laughs> look up Chase Demore. Can fighters just fuck people up and just? No. Look yeah. Up, why is he in trouble for that? Ch. Well, no. I think Chase just has like a huge ego. Okay, so this guy, he's viral for <laughs> swinging all stupid and being the worst boxer of all time. But he's a big fucking guy. He's like six five. He's on some Netflix show. That's why he's in this influencer boxing stuff. So he gets another fight to redeem himself for the terrible boxing performance that he did last time and got memed all over the internet. Fights this guy, gets a first round knockout, but is too excited and starts ground and pounding him. What? He starts, yeah, fucking, you can fast forward like two minutes? No, it's right here. Oh, shit. Look, boom, oh, boom. He Bro, he oh threw my. like eight more shots when he's on the ground. And look what he does. He does out of sight. Oh, yeah, so cr- and then he oh, fucking gets DQ'd. So and they start a whole fight. Look, oh, his team cringe. starts coming in. Look at the, the guy that got rocked. He's still out of it with those ground and pound shots. He tries to hug him now. <laughs> he doesn't know what sport he's well, playing. I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Look at him. Jideon's like, yeah, yeah. Bro, you're DQ'd. He's banned from boxing. Can never fight again. Really? He had a knockout there. He redeemed himself from the last performance that he did that I'm sure... Haunted him. Uh, he, oh, I'm sorry. Redeemed. I really did not, did not think about that. I actually am sorry. Seriously? Yeah. You're not doing an no. awkward Steven character right now? Yeah, how was your Vegas trip? It was great. When did you go to Vegas? I went to Vegas for the fight. I wasn't planning on going. I didn't even know. It's sort of like you with this podcast, you know, until last minute. Mike hits me up the night before. He's like, yo, I'm finessing everything. I got this whole trip covered. Just be ready tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. So yeah, the night Whatever. before. You know, yeah. So we go out there on a private jet, like a big fucking crazy private jet. PJ. Which, you know, I don't give a fuck about stuff like that, really. Then why'd you but mention it? <laughs> for, you, for you to have fun uh, with that. What, you hurt your neck just yeah. now? Keep going. Wait, so what happened? He flew out on a private jet with a lot of money. PJ. Flew on a private jet. We get there. We check into the hotel. We go to the spa. There's a cold plunge in the spa. Yep. And there's a show going on <laughs> in the sauna. They have a live performance of like uh-huh. people come in and they're like doing a like Circus Soleil in the sauna with you. So you get this live Weird. entertainment in the sauna. Then you go out, take a dip in the cold plunge. I'm all fired up, ready for the night. We go out to dinner now. I leave the dinner early to go hit the tables. I bet $250. And a blackjack hand. Yeah, that's your bank account, bitch. <laughs> I, I hit. I go fucking $250, motherfucker. We're fucking rich. Mike, don't fucking pinch out my shit. I take all the money, go cash out. Then we go to the fight. Fight's insane. Ryan Garcia gets knocked down second round. (laughs) Crazy. Crazy. Back and forth. I thought it was seventh. Wait, so then what? So he got knocked down second round, and then seventh round. Oh, shit. Oh, he took a knee. Oh, shit. Gets hit with a body shot. Right in the liver. It goes down. Everybody thinks, oh, what happened? Didn't even see it. Didn't even see it happen. What? And then, and then the guy's counting, and you're like, oh, he's going to oh. get up. He's going to get up. This is nothing. He's just, I didn't even see a punch. He's probably just tired or something. Uh-huh. Doesn't get up in time. They call the fight. Tank wins. Stays undefeated. Wow. Ryan gets his first loss ever. And how did it feel to be in the arena? Electrifying. It was electri- like electrifying. Like you were a superhero. Yeah. It's, so what did you do after, then after that? So then we left to beat the crowd out. We leave before they, we could even hear the speeches. Not like Nate Diaz beat the crowd. No, no we didn't beat the crowd. Like, nice one. Nice. Nice one. So then we take off. We go out to a club. We go out to a club. No way. Damn, you're shaking, bro. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> How do you this? have alcohol withdrawals like this at 19 years old? Though, that's that's, Steve that's the caffeine. That's the caffeine. Is this huh? Steve Madden? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You're going to eat his gum? <laughs> Chug no. it. Chew his gum. Chew his fucking... Bro, chew, might give you oh, oh, bro, Ew, 60, dude, you don't know what he has. Sixty-five-year-old man gum, bro. Yeah. Damn, he's got money. He's lived so long. Do you know how many women he's fucked in his day? You have no idea what he has. 
<laughs> he designs so women's weird. shoes. He plays with feet all day, Steven. <laughs> Bro, you just shoot Steven out of his gum in your mouth, dude. Oh my God. You have fucking you just, athlete's foot of the tongue now, dude. Steven, you just made out with Steve Madden. Oh, my God. That's crazy that you just did that. That's sick, though. <laughs> That's sick. That's almost like going to a freaking UFC fight in a private jet. <laughs> Brian, you are nice. such a hater, bro. You're such a jealous hater. Go mean? ahead. That's lame. You That's lame. Promo, bro, Ryan. he came in here saying, I flew first class this week. I flew first class. <laughs> bro, they give you free drinks. Did we get that on recording? Yeah, Did we, yeah, did I think we so. get that on recording? What am I, 65? The way I said it did? was way different. No, bro, you came in. You were flexing. flexing. No, no, I was just. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make the show entertaining. No, I was. I'm sorry. I was actually class. clowning you because I'm such high level sarcasm that I was. That whole bit was me clowning you in the beginning of the show. You didn't get the joke though. So you're not on our level. First class. Someone paid for it. Really? Like him? Yes. Somebody paid for it. Yeah. I just got to go along for the ride, and and I was like. So what the fuck is the point of this, Mike? And he goes, you're basically like a hot girl. You serve the same purpose. And he said this in front of two models there oh that he brought along. He was like, you're just here to make me look cooler. Mike was pretty mean to Steven on the Coachella trip. He was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess, you know, maybe yeah, maybe bro. Mike views us all as where NPCs no, in his life. No, he doesn't life. like me because I don't dick suck him. I am the farthest thing from the dick sucking... Like, and I don't think he likes that. I don't that. think any of us dick suck Mike. You do dick not, suck not, Mike. I'm not saying y'all do either. I'm just saying, like, I don't... W name one time I've dick suck Mike. I make fun of him When you time. text him, like, hey, what camera do you use? I really like your blogs. <laughs> it was a genuine question. I genuinely <laughs> yeah, wanted to know. How dare riding. you do that? That's fucking dick That's dick riding. riding. No, it's... Yeah. How's that dick riding? Because you want to <laughs> make You like the way Mike's is. vlogs are shot? No, because if I asked you, you would just be like, bro, I don't give a fuck, ask somebody else. Yeah, Mike's vlogs are a cinematic masterpiece. They're fu bro, those I are... I like the wide-angle lens. What's wrong with that? You're I'm a meat rider. Know. You meat rode Mike. No, go on, though. What did Mike do to you that was so mean? I invited six girl. Well, I invited a girl back to the house. Player. That was the same girl from the last Coachella trip, right? And <laughs> yeah. I kind of already knew some shit was going to get used, but I didn't really care. I was like, maybe like... You know, I told you on the barbershop, I said on the barbershop, you are getting manipulated, you're getting taken advantage of, you're being used, how don't you fucking see that, you idiot? And then it happened. No, so I bring I bring this girl back to the, the Airbnb is late at night, there's so much drama going on. There's beef between me and and all, and Ryan and Kyle. You and everyone. And everyone. Mainly everyone. me and Ryan. You wanted the smoke from and everyone then, in that house. I was just, I was, it was so, I didn't even know, I, could, I don't know. And I bring back this girl and she brought her six hot, friends are all from new york right and i was like i felt cool for a second i was like whoa what yeah. the fuck i paid like a, for like a 200 dollars uber to bring him back yep. you get back to the house just Ryan's like this on the hundreds couch. on ubers all week Ryan's like this on the couch i'm like oh my god angry <laughs> then, as yeah, fuck. so yeah. angry and drunk and i was drunk and it was just so not, mad and I, and i'm just trying to like hang out with this girl and then i was just trying to hang out with you long story short there's drama <laughs> and, yeah <laughs> well that's all i was trying to do so where's mike playing hanging out with me at the airbnb Huh? When I wasn't even there. Finish the story. We're, we're, so I thought you were shit talking Mike right now. Yeah, Mike. So I I bring these girls back to the Airbnb. There's so much drama going on. And I kind of just wanted to leave the house. So and y'all were going to a, like a, a, an after party. And I asked you. I didn't ask Mike. I asked you. I was like, you think like I could go to this? Like we could go. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, come on, let's go. So I get around and get ready. You had your um, own ticket to it. You had a ticket you got in I LA. For I don't it. think that was neon. I think it was something else. different. I don't, I don't, different I one. No, it was. Different, different one. rings, buddy. Was it? it was, it was nylon. nylon. Well, it was nylon have, the first oh, night. Oh, nylon. No, this was neon. It was second night. But I also didn't have my wristband anyway, so I, it didn't, I didn't. I didn't pick it up. I forgot. But uh, I was asking if I could go, and you were like, "Yeah, let's go." So I get changed, I get all excited, and, and then the girls like, "Okay, where's Steven? Where are you at?" I'm like, "I'm coming." And then they all, her, all of her friends get in the Uber, and then she gets into the Uber, and this is like 11 at night. And then Mike stops me as I get to go into the Uber. He's like, what do you think you're doing? And I'm like, I'm going to this, I'm going to this party. And he's like, and he looked at me and went, you think you're getting in? And then took all of the girls that I just brought and shut the door in my face. And then I had to turn around. And go back into the house with all the drama. That is that like was a, damn, that sounds like a so movie. He, yeah, like, it's a coming of age high school yeah. movie. Yeah, took all my girls. <laughs> Whoa, you think you're coming jump. in this hey, car? I'm took, 40 years old. In your mouth. <laughs> no, he essentially took all the girls that I brought, mouth. laughed in my face, said, You're not coming. And then Put it in your mouth. He pretty much just said, Fuck you. And that was it. And then left, left me at the house. And then there's just more drama after, how, after, after that. Yeah. Good now. Well, maybe Mike will get a bunch of hate comments on his next video because of that. I don't. 
Because you just did what you but told us like that you don't want us to do. I, I'm not surprised that bring that real like, situations onto the you podcast. You know what surprises me now. is like comments that are in favor of Mike. I, every time it blows me away when people are like, he's like such a good person. <laughs> I'm like, who's writing <laughs> this? You know what we like should that. do? We should start planning a party next year that's like an after party for Coachella, try and get a brand involved. And we should ban anyone over the age of 36. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you can come, but he can't. <laughs> And that's just the rule. And we'll be ages. It's just his face on the piece of paper. Yeah. The front. It's called Fuck Mike After Party. <laughs> Day two. Yeah, that's my only goal for YouTube to be successful for next year's Coachella. <laughs> to that's be the better only than Mike. I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> so I'm, next year for Coachella, I'm going to get the VIP pass. Or whatever, the big, the artist, what is it, artist pass? Yeah. And I'm going to get the little tent, you know, there's like little tents in like the artist area that you can like sleep gonna, in for like 11,000 for three days. Oh, yeah, those, those, things, give, so. those give you the wristbands too. Oh, yeah, yeah, it comes with the wristband. So like 11,000, you get like this like tent, or there's like a little house in there. And you're going to bring like eight girls to your and tent? And get free food, like buffet. Yeah, it's sick. Nah, Mike still beats you then, because he's like, I got a mansion I'm staying in. Come okay, to well, my mansion. I'll get my, okay, then I'll get my own house. Tent. It's not a mansion, but I'll get my own house. It's just a big house, but I like... There you go. I'll get my own house. That's a good I'm gonna goal. get my own. That's great. That's the only reason why I'm doing YouTube is to Steven, go back. Steven doesn't and, have to take them anywhere. And, there. He's and already then have there. Mike come up to me and be like, yo, can I, you want to go to this place? Nah, fam. Steven's villain origin story. One day you're going to be getting interviewed on a does. podcast. Take like, so ha, what made you, what made you <laughs> want to become so I'm successful? Like, what made you make $300 million? Coachella. I to <laughs> 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 oh, and I'm going to be at Mike's level, but I'm going to, and I'm going to take all of his girls and you know, you know why they're going to go with me? It's because I'm have, I'm a young buck. I have the youth in me. I can like, I have the energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And me and all my friends are young too. What a too. cool goal. We're all just young, you know? So and like, sick. It's hot. To the girls. Like, oh, they're like young bucks. He's old. Yeah. He's just like an yeah. old man. No, and, no matter and how I much have money he has, he can't be young. The, being friends with Logan Paul thing, but like I, I could have everything he has, like you know, all the, the YouTube. Do you feel like you're gonna be happy, that. Steven? Do you feel Probably like you're not. finally gonna be happy? No, I'll no. be miserable. But yeah, it's not. a cool. So maybe not, maybe not the best goal, huh? Listen, <laughs> Stratton Oakmont. All right, we're gonna start our own Stratton Oakmont. We're gonna start ripping people off and making money that? that way. We're gonna raise tons of money. We're gonna do insider trading, and then we're gonna fucking get the biggest house at Coachella next year. That's and not saying. invite Mike. Yes. So let's get on those phones and start fucking dialing. Does your We're not fucking leaving. Right, say, Does your know, girlfriend think that you're a fucking loser? Good. Pick up that phone and start fucking dialing. Don't have enough money to get a cool house at Coachella? Good. <laughs> Pick up that phone and start fucking dialing. Start fucking dialing. Mike stole all of your girls? Good. Pick up that fucking phone oh, and, we and start need a dialing. Our own sprinter for next year. You want a sprinter? And Pick up that phone and start fucking dialing. Let's get Chris. You want your girlfriend to go to Brazil and get the biggest fucking implant she can? Good. Hey, yeah. Start. Pick up that phone and start fucking dialing. Pick up that phone and start fucking dialing. Dialing what? Numbers, sales. Investments Dividends. get people to buy in, Dividends. buy, buy, sell, sell, <laughs> Jeff, buy low, what, sell what high, the, what, buy penny stocks. Jeff, what is yeah, fourth quarter looking like? We're selling shit. Fourth quarter is looking incredible, phenomenal. We're making a million dollars a week. Fourth quarter last year. We're selling shit. It was terrible, but we're on fire now. <laughs> I want you to deal with your problems by becoming fucking rich. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was, great. Yeah, that was, that was like good. Jonah Hill. That was pretty good. Damn, that's fucking good. Ah, I want to do it again. That hurt. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. Fucking rich. No, does he say fucking? Yeah. I want to stop yeah, saying see. fucking as much. Really? I, I feel like oh, I heard saying, something in my ch- saying side. fuck unnecessarily oh, makes it look stupid. Chris would show lack stupid. of intelligence. Deal with your problems uh, by becoming rich. Oh, see, there's yeah, no there's fucking there's rich. No fucking oh, there's there's no that. fucking. It's unnecessary. Okay. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. No way. You got the laptop again. I got the fly, though. That's been bugging us all day. <laughs> wow, that's a good ending to the episode. <laughs> hey, we got Dax later. We got Dax later. We, we have our sweepstakes winner here, so we're going to hang out with him, do fun stuff. I'll pay for all of it. You know, let's all hang out with him, give him a good time. It's not even a sweepstakes. I just like that word. <laughs> it was, kind of. Isn't it a sweepstakes? What's a sweepstakes? What is a sweepstakes? Can we get a Google on that, Stephen? Could what's you fact a, check that? What's Could a sweepstakes? Yeah, I want it right now. You mind Google and sweepstakes? Are you texting the your definition? kids? Or? I don't have kids. And who are you on the phone with over there? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Steve, who the fuck are you on the phone with? That's what we should have been. doing the sweepstakes? <laughs> hey, see, it's hey. like the, the Zach and Cody sweepstakes. Sweet life is Zach and Cody. We want a better definition than that. Yo, Steve. 
Like you win something from sweepstake, a something. form of gambling, especially on horse races, in which all the stakes are divided among the winners. The okay, so I don't think it's really a sweepstakes because we just put a. Uh, it's more like a Willy Wonka chocolate bar factory because it, it, oh my god, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what we were going for. Oh. All right, we got Lewis here, the sweepstakes winner, and his brother. What do you actually want to do in this trip? Because it's it's up to you. You can do anything you want. We have. They got the music going. <laughs> we have options. We have sparring Steven. Ooh. <laughs> you spar him. If you win, you get a thousand dollars. That one. That one. That one. I'm not doing that, that one. <laughs> if Steven doesn't agree to the spar, it's fair. We could do a hike up Runyon. If you beat Steven in a race. You I'm not that. Why don't we be involved in some athletic? Because <laughs> he wants him to win. Obviously, I'm just gonna. Well. <laughs> That's Ryan. We'll put I'm Ryan weak. in these situations. Yeah. In the, see, let's hear him say yeah. We go could ahead. go to Universal Studios as a group, all of us. Wear wife beaters. Wear wearing wife beaters, all wife of us. Beaters? Acting yeah. like we're New Yorkers. Yeah. Oh, can I we go all... with, like a turtle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we. Well, yeah. We could. Uh, we could do that. Sorry. It's your thing here. York. It's your thing here. So we could all be cholos then, or no? Yo, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fire. Funny. That's funny too. You kind of look Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> what about, what about me? Hell yeah. yeah. Could I you pass? You look like you're from Jalisco. Okay. When you're next to Ivan, I'm like, who, you know, who's Jeff? Oh, the who's island? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's up to you guys. What is the other option? Spear fishing is what Steven Spear wanted. Spear fishing. Spear fishing? <laughs> Mario, <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> land. Or just a wild card if you want to throw something in there yourselves. You know, if you have a, a different idea that you'd want to do. Mm -hmm. Don't look at your brother. Don't he didn't buy the deodorant yeah. and win the contest. That's true. That's this true. is on you. I did. I did. It's up to yeah, you, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> what about what? Ooh. You said getting laid. Huh? Steven said getting, getting laid. laid. Oh this is PG. Yeah, we are Christian men. We are Christian men, Ryan. <laughs> Sorry. Would you want us to just throw a party? <laughs> Let's just throw a party. You want to throw a party? The hottest girls. What I really want to do? Bleep this. Is <laughs> you, Jeff. You want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not like right now. You know. <laughs> like, at, at the party. Time. At the party. Yeah. The we throw party. a party. The craziest. Well, I don't know if we could. If we put all that together in a 24 hours. We have Dax film it. Oh, we throw a party. Shit. We have Dax shoot because Dax was in Project X. He Project was the X filmer, and he was the cameraman. Oh, yeah. Oh shit! Yo, it's all coming. It's, it's all coming together. It's coming together. <laughs> it's Yo, all coming together. like I no said, way. when we all get together and we're all on, fucking magic. Magic with my mom. <laughs> with your mom? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> all right, check it out. So this is what we do. You go settle in, check in your luxury hotel room with two beds, so it's not weird you know <laughs> get settled in tomorrow night we're throwing a party here and you and i gonna, that's obvious you know we're gonna we could do that a little bit of <sighs> yeah or am i invited to the party no a circle party no okay hell <gasps> yes he no. As long as, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah actually Can it's I not be... up to me you think dax will come back tomorrow to the party yeah yeah and we film it in the barbershop yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah. wrap up the show here <laughs> right. yeah we're done Louis is here. Hey, let me correct you real quick. Louis. Louis. It's a white in me. All right, that's it. That's it for the show. Let's go. I'm happy. Boys are here. Yeah. Boys are here. Damn. Throwing a party.